Hello again my friends, this is Joe Garza with Montero Bushcraft and today I want to show you guys a knife that I made <coughs> here's a knife made from a file a resp resp file I made this a couple of days ago well actually I finished it yesterday um, it's got a beautiful, beautiful pattern on it that I like a lot. The test today is to see whether uh, whether I can uh, whether I can make a fire with it. So I have here a couple of rocks, and uh, I'm indoors uh, again. I don't have any grass inside. I'm using them. Uh, on paper, I have here a container of water. I don't want to uh, cause a fire. I also have from this little kit. I also have some uh, some chart cloth. I'm gonna grab a little piece of chart cloth here. I place it on top of the. Uh, the rock. I want to call it flint because I don't really know what it is. Just a nice glossy rock that I can get sparks from. And there it is. Put my chart cloth over it. Now I'm going to look for a um, a sharp edge. A sharp edge on the rock. And. Uh, Let's try to catch a spark. Well, that was quick. That was quick. I got a, I got this thing already, already lit. I'm gonna show it to you. There it is. Now uh, let's make that fire. Place it inside the paper. And there's the fire. Okay. Well, this is a really nice knife. I think it's got about a seven-inch blade. I get very nice sparks with it, and it comes in very handy. It has more than one use, which I like that. So you might want to include some uh, some flint in your in your kit if you have a knife like this from made from a file. I really like it. I had a uh, good time making it. I enjoyed it. The file was sent to me by Earth Walker Primitive. He's a great bush bushcrafter, a friend of mine. I want to thank him for sending me the, the file. It's awesome. I use uh, leather, leather spacers here on, on the wood. One breast pin. One breast pin goes right through right through the tank. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little video. So I want to thank you again for watching. This is Montero Bushcraft. <coughs>